talking about percentages today, and um, can anybody tell me what percent means? What does percent mean? Okay. Out of 100. So 93% literally means 93 out of 100. So it's like a fraction, 93 over 100. Okay, what's that as a decimal? Does anybody know? 0.93. Right. So normally, if I just say the number is 72, what's 72 as a decimal? It's 72.0. Just a normal number, 72. It's like 72.0. So 93% to change it to a pure decimal number, the decimal is at the end right here. To change it to a pure decimal number, you move it back two spaces. So that equals 0.93. You guys recall the correct way to read 0.93? 93 hundredths. Because the three is in the hundredth spot. So it's, you know, all three of these are the same. 93% is 0.93 is 93 over 100. So if I had like 4%, what would that be as a decimal? One, two, so it would be 0.04. And what's it as a fraction? Four over 100. Percent means out of 100. So you just put it over 100. Okay, but if the fraction reduces, just like always, you need to reduce it, divide those by four, and you get 1 25th. So that's the fraction, that's the decimal. Okay, what if we go the other way? What if it's like 0 0.36? Uh, what's that as a, I don't know, say percent? Right, you go the other direction, so it's 36%. What's it at, as a fraction? 36 over 100, but if you divide those by four, you can let your calculator reduce it you get 9 over 25. So that would be that. Okay, let's make it a little bit weird here. What's 5.4 as a percent? Right. 540 percent. So this would be like if your, I don't know, income went up by 200 percent. Uh, that means it went up, well, if you're in, let me say it differently, if your income is 200% of what it was, that would be like twice, two times what it was, okay? So, anyway, yeah, the whole number two would be like 200%. And what would it be, well, as a fraction, you could say... You could say 540 over 100, but yeah, you would need to reduce that. Uh, if we divide by 10, it would look like that. If we divide that by 2, it would look like that. So that would be a fraction. Um, you just have to kind of look at it. They both end in 0, so they're divisible by 10. And these are both even, so that means they're divisible by 2. Or you can use the calculator and help you figure it out. If you plug in your calculator this, and then just hit e as a fraction and hit equals, it should automatically reduce it. Okay, anyways, number one, let's jump in. That's not everything, but that'll get us going. Uh, let's see, where did we, I feel like we were like over here-ish. Maybe we'll start with Davin and then go back to the left or that. Okay, it says 69%, and the directions say we're supposed to change it to, for each percent fraction or decimal, state the equivalent expression in the other two forms. So whatever form it's in, we're going to write it two other ways. So, <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> Word doesn't really matter. Davin, what would 69% be as a fraction? So the fraction would be 69 over 100. 
Right. Does that reduce? No. no. Um, the only thing that goes into 100 is like 2 and 5. Um, you could say 10 and 20, but 2 and 5 are inside of 10 and 20. So if it's not divisible by 2 and 5, it's not going to work, basically. Okay. Uh, what is it as a decimal? Yeah. 0.69. Number 3. Seventy-five percent. You guys should know this one by heart. It's kind of a common one. Uh, oh, and what's seventy-five percent as a fraction? Uh, seventy-five over hundred. Seventy-five over hundred, which reduces to. Two, three, four. Right. Because like seventy-five cents is like three fourths of a dollar, right? Three out of four. And what's it as a decimal? Uh, 0. 0.75. 0. 0.75. All right, number five, jumping to decimals. Here's another common number, 0.25. Atticus, what would 0.25 be as a percent? 25%. And what is it as a fraction? 25 over 100, you know what that reduces to? So, how many quarters are in a dollar? Four. So if we divide by a quarter here, we get one over four. Yeah, you should be able to plug that in. Did you get it this time? Did you try again? Okay, anyway, those two. Yeah, make sure you reduce it or have to take half off on those. Number seven, 3.5 equals, okay, uh, Brianna, do you know what this will be as a percent? No, you got to move the decimal twice, so once gets it to 35%, but if we move it again, what will it be? Well, there's a blank spot right there, so guess what we're going to put in the blank spot? Zero. So it will be what? You're right, 350%. So that's like saying um, the population is 350% of what it was in 2000. That would be like three and a half times the big. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Whoops. What is that as a fraction? So percent means out of what? What does percent mean out of? Oh. Out of 100. So to change it to a fraction, you just put it over 100. And then you can let your calculator reduce it. What, you guys can help us out here. What goes into both of those? 50. How many 50s are in 350? Seven. Seven. And how many in that? Two. Two. So that will be it. If you put a mixed number over here, it's okay. I'm not going to count it wrong. I might forget to read the mixed number option, but 15 over 2. Okay, we haven't done one of these. I didn't do. I didn't think to do one of these in the example. Uh, probably the best way to do this is start by changing it to a decimal. Does anybody know how to change this fraction to a decimal, Jesse? I would change it to a mixed number, so that's 7 and 1 half, and that makes it 7 and 1 Okay, if you divide, remember this means divide, right? If you divide 15 divided by yeah. 2, you will get 7.5. 15 divided by 2. Um, whoops. Yeah, we could do it that way. But yeah, anyway, 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. And Leah, do you, I say it wrong, is it Leah? Leah, it is Leah. Okay, do you know how we're gonna change this to a percent? No, you gotta move the decimal twice. Remember Brianna's question?
Okay. Here's kind of a trick question. I don't think they're going to ask this one. What if I'm 0.03%? You guys know what that would be as a decimal? So that would be 0.003. So 0.03 is way less than 1%. Okay, so if they say a decimal, they're talking about a very... I heard that on the news the other day. What were they talking about? I can't remember. But sometimes they'll say like 0.3%, which is very it's less than 1%. It's a very tiny amount. Okay, number 11. This is the news. I haven't talked about this today. Uh, you guys probably did this last year. Okay, we need to know what a couple words mean in math. Okay, what does the word, this goes back a chapter two, what does the word of mean in math? Times. Times or multiply, yeah. Okay, what does the word is mean in math? Equals. Um, if they say, like, number in the problem, what, what did we write down? A variable. A variable. I'll just say like X or something. Or N or whatever. You can choose whatever. You can choose the first letter of your name or whatever you want to use. But um, So this is how we are going to set these up. Everybody needs to pay attention on these odds. Okay, number 11 says find 84% of 150. So what we're going to do is 84%, is that worth 84 no. Abby, what is this actually worth? 0.84. So we're just going to change it to a decimal. If you plug this in your calculator as 84, it will be wrong. We have to use 0.84. Some of you might have a percent button on your calculator that will automatically do it, but good luck finding it. Okay. Then it says, Abby, it says 84% of 150. So what does of mean? So times 150. It just says find that, so we're just supposed to do that. So just plug that in the calculator. Looks like it's uh, 126. Now, you guys should probably stop and think, does this make sense? 84% is most of something, right? Like 80, if 84% of your class likes Dr. Pepper, that means almost all the class likes it, right? So if there's like 30 in your class, that means maybe 25 like it or something like that. So 84% of 150 is most of 150. Does that make sense? You should kind of be able to tell whether you're doing it right. Number 13. Okay. Uh, Brooke, it says 58% of. So what's 58% turn into? What does of mean? And then it says, what number? What should we put for what number? N. Okay. So this is 58% times N. Then it says, is 48. So what should we write for that? Equals 48. Okay. This one... Is an algebra problem. Unlike the last one, we could just kind of do that times that. This one we have to do a little bit of algebra. So how do we solve this, Brooke? Divide, divide by 0.58. By the way, I do expect to see some work, just like always. Uh, it doesn't have to be a lot. Just show a little bit. It's good. Uh, okay, this is where you can pull your calculator out. It'll take a while to figure that one out. Oh, oh, I didn't read the directions. It says round decimals to the hundredths place. What does that mean? Second decimal place is the hundredths place. It says round percents to the nearest whole percent. What do they mean by that? Like if you have 78.6%, whole numbers are like don't have any decimals, basically. So what is 78.6% round to? 79. 79%. If this number is five or bigger, it rounds the next number up. 
78.6 is closer to 79% than it is to 78%. Okay, that's, that's kind of how your grades work, right? If you got a 79, you might have a little bit above or a little bit below 79. Uh, okay, so does anybody plug this in the calculator? Yeah. What'd it come out? 82 and 22, Okay, we're doing decimals here. We're going to round to the nearest hundredth place. Okay, tell, so tell me what the decimals are after 82. Uh, I, I, Okay, so the direction said round to the hundredths place. Where's the hundredths place? Five. Right there. So is the eight gonna push the five up or is it gonna stay the same? Push it up. Push it up. So this is closer to 82.76. Okay, so we're not gonna do fractions in this second section. We normally do, but this time we're not going to. Okay, 15, just because the direction's basic. Uh, find 50% of 3 fourths. 50%, a lot of you guys know 50% means a half, right? But how do you do half of 3 fourths? That's weird. Well, let's find out. Who are we up to? Okay, Jackson. What's 50% as a decimal? Uh, 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. Now, is that the same thing as 0. 0.50? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, he said 0. 0.5 instead of 0. 0.50. Does it matter? No. Okay, the zeros at the end of decimals do not change the value. 50 over 100 is the same as 5 over 10. What does of mean, Jackson? Nope. Times. So it's 50% times 3 fourths. So it's 0. 0.5 times 3 fourths is. It's 3 eighths, but we're still going to do decimals. 0. 0.375. Now, I guess we should round that off, right? Because that's, that's the hundreds place right there. So that's going to round to what? 0.38, yeah. Have you guys seen the squiggly equals before? Yeah. It means about equal. Technically, these aren't equal. They're about equal. Mr. Jordan, couldn't you just divide 0.75 by, or couldn't you divide 75 by 2? Yeah. But multiplying by 0.5, yeah, it does the same thing, yes. <laughs> Okay, 17. Uh, Moses says 175% of, what's 175% gonna turn into? 1.75. Okay, 1.75 of what number? So of is what? What number? 18,000. No, 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 what do, I, what do I write for the what number part? It says, uh, 175, oh no, I was reading, sorry, I was reading 19, my bad. Okay, so it says 175% of 18,900 is what number? Okay, yeah, X or N. So on this one, how do we solve for N? Well, you just do that. You don't really need algebra for this one, it's just that times that. Basically the same thing as 11. They just said it different, and 15, they said it differently. Should 175% of 18,900 be a larger or smaller number? Smaller. Well, larger, yeah. If you multiply by anything greater than one, the number should get larger. If you multiply by less than one, the number should get smaller. 33,700, or sorry, 33,075. Okay, I just remembered that they did not put, 
There's basically three kinds of problems, and they didn't put one of them on the odds, so I'm going to have to do one of the evens with you, I guess. All right. Uh, let's see. 10% of what number? So, Avery, what's 10% turn into? Um, point one. Point one, yeah. Then it says, of what number? So, times in. Right. So you put times in or just point one next to the N. Then it says, is 50. So how are, are we going to solve that for N? Divide by point one. Divide by point one. <coughs> Maybe you guys could have, uh, did you guys know 50 was 10% of 500? Maybe you guys knew that one. Or maybe not. Did not, okay. 10% uh, means like 10 out of 100 is like 1 tenth. So 50 is 1 tenth of 500. That's why it works. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to do an even, let's just do 12 I guess. Because they did not put one of these on the odds, so we're going to have to go back and do one. All right, Sophia 12 says 18 is, so what are we going to put for that? 18 equals, you can put equals 18, it doesn't matter. Uh, what percent? So this is what's different. It says what percent instead of what number. Um, that's still our variable. But we need to make sure our answer is, a, is in percent form. So 18 is what percent? I put a P to remind me it's supposed to be a percent. Of 76. What do we put for of 76, Sophie? Times 76. Times 76. Okay, how would I solve this for P? You just do 18 divided by 76. Divide by 76. To get rid of the time 76. Okay, do not plug in 76 divided by 18. This is 18 divided by 76, which is something messy, isn't it? What is it? Uh, huh? 24%. Does it say, well, give me the what the calculator says. 0.236. Okay, 0.236. All right. Now, <clears throat> what is this? So, if it just said what number, this would be the answer. But since it said what percent, we need to change it to a percent. So, what is this in percent form? 24%. Right, 23.6%. But they told us to round to the 1% place, or we could have rounded over here to the hundreds place. Either way, they're the same thing. Uh, so yeah, she said 24%. So what other number is like that where you have to change it to a percent? 16 and 20. 16 is weird because the answer is going to be like... Uh, I'll make one up. This is not the answer. Don't write this. Do you guys know what this is as a percent? It's 1,754%. 16 is kind of like that. It's weird. Okay. So don't don't be thrown off. Okay. I threw in a couple of word problems. What time do we get out of this class? 10 after? 10 10? That's what 10 after me. Okay. Um, darn. Well, I might just grade this one on Friday. We're kind of running out of time. Shh. All right, 21. Mrs. Gard... Dengi, maybe? Dengi, Dengi? Notice that there are 12 boys in her class of 50. Or sorry, of 30. Okay, right when I read that, there's 12 boys in a class of 30. You guys should... 
you guys should think something. What's 12 boys out of 30? That's like a what? It's a fraction, or you think of it as a ratio. But yeah, when I heard 12 out of 30 are boys, I thought fraction, 12 out of 30. What percent are boys? So in other words, we have to change this to a percent. Okay, we did this on number nine. Lauren, do you remember how we changed this to a fraction to a percent like this? Yeah, she said 12 divided by 30. So tell me what the decimal is for that. Okay, she got 0.4. And what's, Lauren, what's 0.4 as a percent? 40%. Okay, she moved the decimal twice, not once. So yeah, she, that's right, 40%. I think there's another question though. So if 40% are boys, Lauren, how many, what percent must be girls? 60%. Because they have to add up to 100, right? There's just boys and girls. I suppose some people might argue about that, but we're sticking to it. 23. Okay, 23 says, if 28% of the 842 respondents... Okay, before I read the rest of the problem, that part right there is telling me something. So let's, let's stop and interpret what they just said. 28% of the 842. That looks like a problem from above. So, Anna, what's 28% turn into? Okay, and then it says, of the 842. So what should we do with the of? Okay, what will this tell us? It says 28% of the 842 respondents prefer candidate Conley over his opponent, Cannon, candidate Brewer. So 28% of the people prefer Conley. So if we multiply these together, that tells us how many people prefer Conley. Is that what they're asking? Yes. So we just need to do 28% times 842. Okay, we're talking about people, so half a person doesn't really make sense, right? So you want to round to, to the nearest person. So round to the, the ones place. What is it round to? 236. 236. So I'll put the squiggly equals. So when they said 28%, they weren't being exact because you can't have a decimal person. Let's see, is 22 hard? Let's see, ABC measures 8% of the total angles of the triangle. Okay, on 22, you need to know how many degrees are there in the angles in a triangle? 180. 180. So basically 22 is saying 80% of the 180 degrees will give you angle A. You guys got it? 80% or yeah, of the 180 degrees will give you angle A. It's a pretty short problem. Uh, 24, Miss Chang knows she spends 180 for groceries. Okay, 24 is saying 12% of the total equals the 180. 12% of the total is $180. And you're supposed to find out how much she makes total. Or how much the total family income is. So 24 is a little trickier than 22. All right. If you need to, you can turn this in on Friday. We might just grade it on Friday since I didn't give you a lot of time here. <laughs>